Which is weird because I have to switch back and forth from different um, realities um, and dimensions because the, this reality is a, a different frequency that I have to tune into because it's like missed, uh, and then it's like right after that I rush back into my other reality which is this one which is what I created. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit funny. But then I have to come back to this reality and get back to which I'm really excited about, not to discredit, um, you know. Um, again, my thoughts, they're, they're flying in my head, that's why I'm... <laughs> There's so much I... Which is my point is, again, back to divine intervention. I think that it's... When you guys start to wake up and you're aware, you start to notice lots of strange things that are happening right in front of your eyes everywhere you go because and I say pay attention because once it happens you're gonna shit your pants sorry for my language so as things start to happen who shot rock and roll right so for the normal you know, the normal people who just, you know, you go about your daily lives, you just, whatever, you just don't pay attention to stuff. But when you are aware, they had every single sign pointing out what they did in front of our faces everywhere. You just got to pay attention. Shocked. Gosh, um... <laughs> um... It's so far down the rabbit hole. Even my even my own mind is like, what? But pretty. Where should I start? Okay, so we're we are located in a very early stage of the universe, and because you know whatever I talked about this before, I'll make a long story short. When the universe began, like I said, for instance, let's say the Big Bang, which we all know is not true. Um, but as, as when the universe first started, as it started accelerating forward, we were at the tip of the, the universe, and we're very, fairly new. We're like a baby, let's call it that. And uh, we're in a zone called the free will zone, meaning they're doing like these experiments, right? <laughs> Because we have free will so they if you want to go really back in time in the, at the end of the universe where it actually began and as it accelerates throughout time because time continues it's constant and um, so they just they meaning our creators or, or whatever you want to call it them but there's always good and bad so this has never happened before in the history of the, the galaxy, the universe. I'm sorry, the universe, not the galaxy. So they did an experiment to see our creators, to see, well, let's give them free will and see what happens. And because... <sighs> I know it probably doesn't make sense right now when I'm trying to explain to you because, like I said, it's so complex and it goes so far down the rabbit hole. It took me eons to finally figure it out, even though I knew snippets of it throughout my life. Um, but everything makes sense now and it's really amazing. Everything, but I can't put it into words because there's no words for it, and that's another way they kind of tricked us into telling people the truth, the whole truth, like the, the entire truth of our entire existence. They made it that way because there's no words for it. They did that on purpose so that the people who understand within our minds what the whole truth is of our origin. So, so that we can tell the world exactly what it is because there's no words that man created on purpose, which by the way on purpose, 
to prevent us, um, those of us who understand in our head what is actually the truth about us, the universe, and what everything means and how everything's connected and the story behind everything. So that's why in the human language, no matter what language it is, they don't have words for that. For instance, let me give an example. Let's say we, we all know the colors of the rainbow, right? We know red, green, blue, blah, blah, blah. But let's say there are other colors that don't, that are not in our language, right? So how would I be able to tell you of this other color when it was never taught or shown to us? Do you get what I'm saying? I hope. I hope. <laughs> well, I hope I make sense, but I'm trying to put it into different analogies here. But like I said, let's say, you know, we, we know the colors of the rainbow, right? So you recognize like this is white. But let's say there's another color that exists, but on our planet that there's no word for it because there it doesn't exist on our planet, right? So how would I explain this other color? Does that make sense? Is it? And I'm just hinting to you things right now because it's a very heavy duty stuff. Nothing bad, but c complex. But I realize why. It's not a coincidence. People kept making fun of me, saying like I look like an alien. Like, why do I look like an alien? But that's all for now. I will keep in touch. I love you guys, and in the meanwhile.